Hello everybody and welcome to another Tech Minute video. My name is Tom from Six Foot Networks. Thank you for joining me in the office. I'm going to talk to you today about carbon copy cloners. One of my favorite tools. I use it pretty much daily. In fact, a backup task has completed over here. I'm going to bring you closer to the laptop to kind of give you a quick rundown of the software. It's relatively simple and it may make or break you if you lose data when you shouldn't. So let me bring you over here, bring you over here, and then put you right in front of it. There you go. So essentially you can see here that I've created this task. Uh, it's called, you know, this clone job, and I have it set to back up my source, which is my internal two terabyte drive, to this external two terabyte drive, and this is doing a clone, essentially. So if you roll your mouse over it, it tells you that some of the safety net features and snapshots are disabled because it's doing like for like. In other words, you can have it set to do snapshots where it'll keep X amount of data versions going back however long you specify, as well as um, a deletion safety net. And then how do you want your automation to run? So in my case, it's run on disk appearance and then if it doesn't do it every seven days, pop up a little notification that says, hey, it didn't do. So you can see that I'm using this drive right here connected via USB-C to this Mac. It is mounted right there. And you can kind of see source, destination, and automation. And what I'm gonna do, and you can see here that the backup task completed successfully. This is a cloning utility out of the box. But you can actually, if we hit okay on this, you can actually do, you know, you can either use the menu up here or you can just use the bar. If you create a new task, you label it test task, oops, test test, <laughs> test task, and then here's where you'd get your workflow going, source, destination, automation. Now, before I do this, you can kind of already see what the uh, kind of what the workflow is here, but you can also see where this tool comes in really handy because you don't just have to use an external hard drive. You can use, you know, a server volume. You can use this to clone uh, directories between this computer and say a server, or you can just do it the way I'm doing here. This is my on-site backup for this computer. And you can install this on all of your computers and have these scripts run pretty much daily hourly, however you run, whatever you specify. So the first thing we would do here is we would pick a source. It lists all the drives. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the internal PCIe drive, all right? Destination, you can see we can do it to a folder, we can do a disk image or even a remote Mac if you wanted to do that. However, I'm going to do what I've already done, you know, and look, it tells you that, hey, it's configured to perform a full clone to the same destination volume, which will erase any content. So I'm not going to proceed, but maybe it just makes sense to do it to a folder. It doesn't matter. We'll just do it to a desktop. Probably also a bad idea. But you can see that a couple of options started happening here. So first things first, you can see that the safety net is on. And, you know, you can actually you know, read about safety net here. It'll take you to their help page, you know. Very informative. So, it tells you, you know, it's an SSD, it's encrypted, APFS, it's a data container. We can also, from here, choose a different destination if you wanted to create an image of it. Uh, you can do that. In fact, you can do bootable images. This is a bootable clone, meaning that if for any reason, my drive fails in this computer, I can take this drive, plug it into my other Mac over there, and boot to it, and it'll be just like it was when the backup last ran. So, and it kind of tells you up here, and, and maybe dark mode is not good enough for the text up here, but that's fine. But it, it tells you line for line what this job is going to do. Automations, how do you want to run it? You know, I typically have a couple of layered uh, where I will run them 
Uh, you can do it when files are modified in the source. Probably not a good idea, being how many files are uh, modified uh, on a computer at any given point in time. If you're doing this on a non-booted uh, OS, then you might be okay with that. But I do them daily. Daily, and see it breaks it down for you. Uh, gives you all these options, you know. Don't send error reports. And also, I like this handler down here where it says run this task as soon as the missing volume reappears. So if you don't have this plugged in, it won't keep flipping out on you. It'll know, okay, the drive's not there. I'm not going to try to run when unless it crosses that seven-day threshold, um, which I can't remember where that is, where it'll pop up a notification that says, hey, that disk hasn't appeared. But set this up how you want it. Either way, source, destination, how you want to run it. And then down here behind this cable is save or revert. And then you just hit run. And then you actually get a progress bar. I'm not going to do this because I'm already using this drive for this task up here. Um, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this delete task so that way I don't inadvertently do something but you can see here I'll double click this oh see remind me to run this task if it hasn't run lately after seven days so this is kind of what I do um, and it works um, so when source of destination is remounted because I take this laptop with me I set this that every time I plug this in I want this to run no matter what and it works so I hope that helps you out. If you like this video, please give us a like. If you really like this video and you want to see more of this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing as it does. It does help us out and it allows us to create more content like this for you in the future. In the meantime, good luck with everything. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I'll be sure to get to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.